to be or not to be that is the question whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing and them to die to sleep no more and by a sleep we say to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is air too it is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep to sleep a chance to dream there's the rub for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's a respect that makes calamity of so long life. Or who would bear the whips and scorns of time? oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of disprise at love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns the patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt? and sweat under a weary life. But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment. With this regard, the currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Something now. Fair Ophelia, nymph in thy orisons, be all my sins remembered. 